Credit Suisse delivering promises to boost the business with the rich clients. It also wants to cut costs through the use of technology. Meanwhile, it's been hit with a historic money laundering conviction. That being historic, let's deal with the present. Patrick Winters joins Danny and I. A deep dive, 600 Swiss francs, 600 million Swiss francs of cost cuts, and they're going to focus on Hong Kong, on Singapore. It's not exactly radical, is it? Yeah, I mean, some might think that Credit Suisse uh, might need to take a few more radical steps. Uh, definitely what uh, Gottstein, uh, in my opinion, has to look at are, are three basic priorities. You know, he has to look at cost cuts. Um, he has to arrest the flow of bad news. Uh, but most importantly, he also has to show that he can kickstart growth in wealth management. And with markets going uh, the way they are currently, we've already seen um, stocks in China slumping. And then it looks like there's a recession possibility worldwide. That's not going to be such an easy task. And of course, we had a, credit, a warning from Credit Suisse earlier in the month as well. Some of the targets they're laying out, whether it be cost cuts, whether it be mid high single digit wealth credit volume growth by 2024. Patrick, how difficult is this going to be for Credit Suisse to achieve? Yeah. I don't think they would uh, set out targets uh, which are going to be impossible to achieve, but I think any bank uh, you know, at this point in time setting targets, it's a bit like setting targets in thin air because no one knows the way markets are going to pan out. Um, and for a big wealth manager, they're heavily dependent um, on, on uh, the way markets go because it uh, uh, ultimately decides how many assets that bank manages um, and how much money they can make uh, from them.